And good morning, everyone. It's uh, wonderful to be here and to see Councillor Knack. Thank you for proclaiming it. Where did you go? I can't. There you are. Still here. Let's go. <laughs> and uh, Lucien Roy, of course, from uh, the. Uh, you're the president of the Union Retirees, so great. Thank you for inviting me. And of course, Gail McGowan, it's good to see you again, uh, president of AFL. So it's a pleasure for me to be here and bring greetings on behalf of Premier Notley and my government colleagues. It's, it's never gets boring saying that. I just want you to know. I just, uh, it's very, it's great. So of course, today is the 25th anniversary of the United Nations International Day of Older Persons. And our government wholeheartedly supports this year's theme of taking a stand against ageism. I want to take some time just to mention some of the, my ministry's initiatives that are uh, taking a stand against ageism. We appointed Dr. Cherie Kwan Si as uh, the new uh, seniors advocate as of September 1st. Uh, Dr. Kwan Si uh, is a professor at the university. Uh, her specialization is in aging, and so we're so pleased to have her to support uh, seniors in this province. On World Elder Abuse Day, on June 15th, we awarded $1.2 million to the community coordinated response models in communities across Alberta. We also gave a $300,000 grant to the Alberta Elder Abuse Awareness Network. And our government is leading the way with initiatives like Seniors Week, uh, the Grey Matters Conference that was just up in Grand Prairie a week ago or so, and the Minister's Senior Service Awards that were this week uh, on Wednesday. And collectively, these initiatives identify challenges seniors face, offer innovative solutions, and celebrate seniors across this uh, magnificent province. And of course, like Andrew said, we're doing a whole bunch of other stuff about housing, but I was focusing on, uh, on ageism. So I'm not going to go into that, but I appreciate, you know, I think our government has a significant commitment. We are committing 1.2 billion over five years in our capital plan to support housing, affordable housing in this province. So I just want to say thank you so much to uh, the Federation of Union Retirees for inviting me to this event. And now I just want to finish off by saying that everyone deserves a safe place to call home everyone whether you're a senior a child unemployed or someone living uh, with disabilities a home is one of the most basic necessities of life it's particularly troubling that many seniors in alberta can't find an affordable home a place to live uh, today seniors in alberta work the majority of their lives providing for the next generation their contributions are enormous they worked hard and played by the rules and saved up a little nest egg that they could retire on. But many of them can't afford affordable housing. A safe place to age in community, like uh, Councillor Knack said, is so important for people to be able to stay in their communities, especially in this uh, economic situation, it's challenging. Well, it's easy to call for reckless cuts, cuts in the backs of Albertans and seniors, that's not okay. And that's why our government is moving Alberta forward by investing in housing, affordable housing, especially for seniors, and to ensure seniors retire in dignity and continue to live meaningful lives and contributing like they do. And you know what? I want to be a raging granny. I think I qualify. I totally want to be part of that. Boy. Uh, is there an, is there, a, is there a, I mean, I'm almost up there. So is it, is there an age? Is there, no, there's no age requirement. Excellent. So we, we of course want, uh, do this work as appreciation for all that seniors have done for us and uh, you know it's just the right thing to do and what our government is completely committed to. So thank you so much uh, for inviting me to this and, and this is a great celebration. Thank you.